Good evening. All right. Good evening, Democrats. We're going to start off with the uh, nervous. Um, the pledge to the flag. As a, I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone here needs to sign it, and we will wait for everyone who's here who's on the line to get signed it. So we won't, we won't get going until that. In the meanwhile, we will tell you what the rules are, because many of you don't know what the rules are, and Patty will read the rules. And then I'll tell you what the order of things is going to be. And then we'll have speakers from both campaigns, and they will speak for a maximum total of four minutes per campaign. And then we will split into precincts. And when we split into precincts, the first thing we're going to do is just assent to the people who have been trained as uh, precinct managers and assistant managers. Okay. And we'll say it's okay. And after that, we'll take a straw poll. The straw poll will be just a quick, informal count of hands to say how many people like Bernie, how many people like Hillary, how many people are uncommitted, and if there's anyone who likes somebody else, just to say who it is. And, uh, and we'll see what we've got. There's a threshold of 15%. So 15% of the people, the total number of people who are present in each caucus must be in favor of a candidate in order for that candidate to possibly get delegates. If an option of a candidate or uncommitted doesn't make 15%, then that option can't get delegates. And once we've taken the straw poll, then we'll have five minutes of informal discussion, and uh, people will try to talk you out of whatever it is you think you're doing. And if you were willing to uh, say that you're uh, uncommitted, then they will really be on you. So, uh, and then, uh, when we're done with that, uh, then we'll do the count for real. And we'll split, each precinct will split into two or, you know, it's going to be that probably two groups. And the, the captains of the Hillary campaign and the Bernie campaign will count at that time, hands, and they'll take your card, that colored card, from you also. And all the numbers have got to match up, how many cards they've given out at their precinct, uh, how many cards uh, they've collected, and, uh, and the hand count, and assuming all of that works out, then we'll do some arithmetic. And what the arithmetic is, is this. Each precinct, has been assigned a certain number of allotted, a certain number of delegates, based on how many people are registered Democrats in that precinct. The biggest precinct is seven. There are eight delegates there. Uh, the next largest is six. I think there are six. The most common number is five. And uh, eight and ten each have three delegates. So who gets how many delegates will be determined by the portion of people who voted in each case. It could happen that it comes out dead even. We could have some coin tosses here. We're going to have one coin toss because we're going to have plus points to, de to determine who votes first yeah, among the candidates speaking. So someone will pick, someone will receive, and well, that's the way we'll, that's the way we're going to do that. Once we have determined how many delegates are going to be chosen by the Bernie people and by the Hillary people, then you meet in a group, so all the precinct five Bernie people meet together and so forth. And you will elect delegates at that time. Those people are delegates to the county assembly, 
which meets in Aspen on Saturday, March 19th. We have a total of 51 people who are going to be chosen as delegates and some number of all things, okay, as many as we can get. Because just like this, you've got to be here to be counted. Same thing at the count. As a delegate, if you can't, there's got to be an alternate for you. Otherwise, your campaign loses your vote. Okay? So don't say you're going to be a delegate if you know that you're going to be an alternate for you. Or ice or so, so that's so that's it. So we're going to pick delegates. Once we're through with the delegates, we're going to report that portion uh, of, of our activities to the state. And then we're going to have uh, a quick election for precinct committee people. That's in each precinct two people who will be willing to just sort of be communications people for the Democratic Party, any candidate like, uh, for two years. And, uh, and after that, we have some county commissioner candidates, and they would like to speak with you. And finally, we have resolutions. Okay? The first order of business is our wonderful county clerk. Janice Ross Cordell, and she has two elections to run this year. She's got a primary. She's got a primary to run, and then she's got yes. Okay. She's got a prime. Oh, she's got a primary to run. So you can learn. Uh, she's got a primary to run, and then she's got a great big election in the fall. She's got new equipment, and she wants to just tell you about this thing briefly. And on the precinct tables, we have. A place for you to sign up. If you'd like to be a paid judge, every precinct table has a place for you to sign up. Okay, Janice. Hello, everyone. I've never seen such a crowd before at a caucus in the past. So, <laughs> so usually what I would do is I would say, those judges who have helped me in the past assure the integrity of our elections, and they are my heroes, but I can't ask them to stand up here. So. So just acknowledge them if you know them. And also in the sea of people, I have some of my election staff that are here, and I would ask them to stand up to acknowledge them as well. They do an awesome job for us, so I wanted to also say that. Judges, we are looking for judges to help us this year. So if you 